Welcome to stage two of the tour of Sicily, which start in Palma de Montechiaro and finish in Caltanissetta. 152 kilometers. We have one sprint in Mazzarino and a categorized climb in Enna at 35 kilometers from the finish line. But don't be fooled, this stage has 2300 meters of elevation. So tough day out, starting at the coast, finish inland with a breakaway of no less than nine riders with Alessandro Iacchi, Federico Burgio, Yusake Cadota, Andres Mancipe, Stephen Bessett, the king of breakaways from Human Powered Health, Matthias Nordal, Christian Rocchetta, and also from Coratec, it's Giulio Massotto helping his teammate Stefano Gandin in the king of the mountains jersey because for the second day in a row he is part of the breakaway and he picks up the points here in Enna making his total 10 points which means that he wears the jersey tomorrow and also into stage four because he can't be overtaken by any of the other riders in the stage good thinking by Stefano Gandin and the Coratec team in this tour of Sicily but as we approach Caltanissetta he gets caught by the peloton Meaning we have a new situation and attacks because these final eight kilometers are uphill, about 300 meters of elevation towards the finish line in Calta Niceta. And that means attacks by this rider from the Colombia Tierra de Atletas team, Cristian David Rico, only 20 years of age. Unfortunately, we also had some crashes involving, amongst others, Vilay Berhe of the EF Education Nippo team. But luckily, everybody was all right after that crash. Cristian Rico gets caught by the peloton, led by the Italian national team, doing a wonderful job for their team leader. And that is the man in third place, Damiano Caruso. Gets a fantastic lead out into the final kilometer, first by Nicola Conci and then by Alessandro Fedeli. On the wheel of Caruso is Vincenzo Nibali, the defending champion. Also, Kenny Elisonde. And with the bright yellow helmet, Domenico Pozzovivo. Those are the five riders who are going to sprint for the stage win and the lead in the overall classification. Fedeli looks over his shoulder and sees Damiano Caruso launch the sprint with 100 meters to go. And Vincenzo Nibali cannot get past him, meaning Caruso wins his first stage here in the Giro di Cicilia. His fifth career win after last year's win in Alpe Motta in the Giro d'Italia and Alto di Filifique in the Vuelta Espana. His fifth win and one on his own island of Sicily because this man is from Ragusa, which is in the southeast of the island, not that far actually from where we are racing now. He wins the stage, Damiano Caruso, and is also the new leader in the general classification. Another day of fantastic work by the Italian national team Won by Damiano Caruso ahead of Nibali, Pozzovivo, Elisonde, Fidele, Albanese, Conci, Fiorella, Cepedo and Pinson. The new leader in that red and yellow jersey is Damiano Caruso. He has four seconds on Vincenzo Nibali, six on Pozzovivo, nine on Fiorelli and ten on Kenny Elisonde. That means that the remaining two stages in this Tour of Sicily are going to be incredibly exciting with very minimal time differences. Going into stage three, it starts in Real Monte and finish in Piazza Armerina. Total of 171 kilometers, one sprint, one categorized climb, and another climbing stage with over 2,000 meters of elevation. Damiano Caruso wins on Sicily and defends a four second margin on Vincenzo Nibali, that other rider, from Sicily. It's going to be a very spectacular final of this year's Giro di Cicilia.